what is fuel a substance that produces heat and light on combustion is called fuel a good fuel is that has high calorific value that does not produce gases or residues that pollute the environment has adequate ignition temperature cheap readily available easy to transport what is calorific fuel the amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel is called its calorific value it is expressed in kilojoules per kg the fuel with the highest calorific value is hydrogen consequences of deforestation increase in land of carbon monoxide in atmosphere increase in temperature increase in pollution level lowering of ground water level disturbs the balance in nature reduces the rainfall reduces the fertility of soil increases the chances of natural calamities such as flood and droughts how deforestation increases temperature global warming plants need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis deforestation means fewer trees fewer trees means that less carbon dioxide will be used up that would result in increase amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere this carbon dioxide would trap heat rays reflected by the earth this increases the temperature on the earth and is called global warming this would disturb water cycle may reduce rainfall and could cause droughts fewer trees result in more soil erosion and removal of the top layer and exposes lower hard and rocky layers this soil has less humus and is less fertile gradually the fertile land gets converted into desert it is called desertification how deforestation causes floods deforestation decreases the water holding capacity of the soil the movement of water from the soil surface into ground is reducing so there are floods then what should we do conservation of forest and wildlife variety of organisms exist on the earth the variety organisms existing on the earth their interrelationship 
and their relationship with the environment is known as biodiversity. A part of the earth that supports life is called biosphere. Having become aware of the effects of deforestation, the government has remarked protected areas to protect the forest and wildlife. They are biosphere reserves, sanctuaries and national parks. Plantation, cultivation, grazing, felling trees, Hunting and poaching are prohibited there. Biosphere Reserve What are biosphere reserves? Large areas of protected land for conservation of wildlife, plant, animal resources, and traditional life of the tribal living in the area are called biosphere reserve. They help to maintain the biodiversity and culture of that area. The Panchmani Biosphere Reserve consists of one national park, Satpura, and two wildlife sanctuaries, Bori and Panchmari. Endemic Species There are some species of plants and animals which are found exclusively in a particular area. They are not naturally found anywhere else. Such species are called endemic species. Examples are sal and mangoes which are endemic flora of the Panchmani Biosphere Reserve. Bison, Indian Giant Squirrel and Flying Squirrel are endemic fauna of this area. Endangered animals. The animals whose numbers are diminishing to a level that they might face extinction are known as endangered animals, such as tigers. Satpura Tiger Reserve is developed to protect tigers and government launched Project Tigers. Its objective is to ensure the survival and maintenance of the tiger population in the country. Now, there is a significant increase in the population of tigers in Satpura Tiger Reserve. We also kill small animals like snakes, frogs, lizards, bats and owls ruthlessly. But they are very important in ecosystem. By killing them, we harm ourselves. What is Wildlife Sanctuary? What is Wildlife Sanctuary? Area where animals are protected from any disturbance to them and their habitat is called sanctuary. A suitable living condition is provided to wild animals and killing or capturing of animals is strictly prohibited. 
What is National Park? Areas reserved for wildlife where they can freely use the habitats and natural resources are called National Park. Whole sets of ecosystem, flora, fauna, landscape and historic objects are preserved here. Red Data Book and Migration Red Data Book a record of all the endangered animals and plants is kept in a form of a book that is known as the Red Data Book. There are different Red Data Books for plants, animals and other species. Migration Sometimes you see new birds in your vicinity that are only seen for some period and in the same season in every year. From where do they come? And where do they go? In fact, they are migratory birds. Migration is the phenomenon of movement of species from its own habitat to some other habitat for a particular time period every year for a specific purpose like breeding. Migratory birds fly to far away areas every year during a particular time because of climate changes. In India, we have the Forest Conservation Act that is aimed at preservation and conservation of natural forests and meeting the basic needs of people living in or near the forests. Reforestation So what should we do? Reforestation Storing the destroyed forests by planting new trees is known as reforestation. We should plant the trees of the same species as many as we cut. We should save reuse and recycle paper to save trees energy and water. This will also reduce the amount of harmful chemical used in paper making. <laughs>